Welcome to Needham School Spotlight. I'm Dan Goodykantz, Superintendent of Schools. The Needham Schools have adopted four goals to advance the system's mission and to ensure we prepare our students for success. One of our goals is to, ad is to advance standards-based education in each classroom for every child. Today, we will focus on how we are integrating standards-based instruction into our classrooms and specifically, how are we reporting on our students' progress through the use of a standards-based report card. Joining me today is Elliott Principal Suzanne Wilcox, welcome. Good morning. And Melanie Sullivan, one of our third grade teachers from, from Elliott. Good morning. Appreciate you being here. Thank you. We should just get right into it and uh, tell our audience what exactly is standards-based education? Well, to answer that, there are really two parts of standards-based education. It, it's it very simply, a standard is a norm. And so if you think about what we want children to know, that's the first part of a standard. And that means that all teachers, children, and parents should know exactly what we're teaching. It's very, very clearly defined what's going to be taught. The second part is being able to define what level of performance a student is at or has achieved. So the grades on a standards-based report card uh, would report and be very clearly, clearly defined what if a child's met the performance level, has exceeded the performance level, or is falling short of meeting the standard. And that helped, we, we were reporting this to parents on a standards-based report card. We're piloting a new report card in the third grade. Yes. Um, and, and what does that look like, Melanie? What? Um, Actually, at each content area, there are specific standards that the children need In ELA to know. and in science and mathematics. Math, social studies, um, reading and writing specifically. So we have assessments that we use throughout the year that inform us not only how to instruct the children, but exactly where they are so we can share that with parents. Um, for example, in writing, we look at children's ideas. Are they clear? Are they well st stated? Are they organized sequentially um, with complete sentences? And so we look at each aspect of them as a reader, as a writer, as a mathematician, and we score them on the report card. The wonderful thing about this new report card is it really matches the way we teach, um, as opposed to our old report card, which wasn't as accurate. So I can clearly say, mm hmm, this is exactly where they are, and that matches how I teach and how the children are learning. And, and I, my understanding is it gives a clear picture to the parent of exactly what the student knows, what the student can do. Exactly. We were fortunate enough to be able to visit your classroom and uh, see you in, in action. And actually we have a few clips that uh, we wanted to share uh, with folks to show what exactly uh, you know, great instruction, first of all, and standards-based instruction looks like in a third grade classroom. So why don't we, uh, why don't we begin with that and, and talk about this, uh, this very first clip. Set us up on what this lesson is about. Sure. Well, this lesson actually came um, from assessment because the children had been writing paragraphs about states they've been researching. And I noticed for several students, or many students actually, when they're writing expository writing, writing complete sentences was challenging for them. And one of our standards is for them to write complete sentences. So here I am, oh, you'll hear me. Fair paragraphs. I came across something very interesting a few times. And it's important, so I want you to know more about it. I read sentences, well, I read things that were supposed to be sentences that went like this. Come to Massachusetts, Fenway Park, Cape Cod. And, and as I was reading it, I got a little confused. The other thing that's important about standards, too, I think that is worth mentioning is it keeps the children really focused. Um, and in addition, for many new teachers, and I think a third of our teachers uh, are new, it very clearly states what they need to be teaching. And that's also a benefit, not only of the reporting system, but of course of standards-based education. And here, I chose to teach this because the children needed it and because it meets the standards um, that we're expected to teach. And I wanted the children to know this is what you're doing, and now this is what you need to be able to do. And I think it's important to clarify the standards are based on the Massachusetts curriculum frameworks, but they're also Correct. based on what Needham Public Schools Correct. believe Correct. is important, Correct. based on those frameworks that we have set down, we have discussed and agreed upon, what we feel is the most important experience for our children. Why don't we, walk, why don't we go to the next clip um, where you actually have the students uh, involved in, in this activity. So in this next clip, 
we're talking next, about next question, nouns and verbs. Verb. The kids need to know no what a noun is and a verb yeah. is yeah. in order to com make a complete sentence that includes a noun and a verb, which also verb. is directly um, addressing another standard. Because not every lesson just teaches one standard. We frequently are addressing one or two or even three standards in any given lesson. I think it's also worth mentioning that standards-based instruction